Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will understand what is batch operating system. Okay, so in last lecture, we understood what is operating system and what are the various layers in designer's view as well as we understood whether what is the actual goal of operating system, whether it is efficiency or convenience. Okay, so in this lecture, we will understand or we are basically starting understanding few basic terminologies of operating system starting with understanding this batch operating system okay so to start with what is batch operating system so batch is for example you have a batch of 50 or 60 students in your class so this is collection batch means basically okay and operating system now you know operating system so batch operating system means the operate, operating system which works on the collection of jobs okay so now let's uh, let's go back to a few decade back where when operating system was evolving first so early, in earlier days what used to happen is there used to be a punch card okay and whenever somebody writes a program it will store in the punch card okay and then there will be a label label here so let's say this is fortran okay so this punch card or this this belongs to fortran okay now there was a role of operator who used to operate the system so this is my operating system right and we used to have this n number of punch cards right now the role of operator was operator was to select similar punch cards and schedule over this os for execution now why i'm saying batch is let's say this operating system in earlier days used to have few mb so let's say i have one mb of memory right so i have limited space so i can only load the compiler so i can only load load this fortran compiler so what i'll do is to use this operating system efficiently or use this hardware i would say underlying this operating system we have a hardware so use this hardware efficiently what i would do is i would collect all the punch cards which are which are from or which has the label fortran okay and then all the fortran's punch card will be executed at once on this operating system or on this uh, underlying hardware so that i need not to frequently change the compiler right so this was the concept of batch operating system okay so we used to create a batch of the jobs so this is one job basically one job right now we need we used to have n number of b jobs right so we create bunch of jobs that is batch of jobs and we select similar jobs we create batch of similar jobs so let's say this is also fortran this is also fortran this is also fortran similar jobs now i will schedule the similar jobs to execute over this hardware underlying hardware with this help of this OS which has this limited memory which can only load one compiler okay so this will be efficient use of my hardware otherwise if I randomly execute first I have to see what is the language then I have to load the hard uh, compiler then I will execute I'll, uh, I'll then remove this compiler depending upon this punch card I have to execute the compiler right so this is the efficient use of this hardware using this by the batching of the jobs so this was called batch operating system now let's understand what is multi-programmed operating system